and welcome to today's Five on Five. We are pleased to be joined by Senator Jeff Merkley. Jeff, thanks so much for being here. Well, you're welcome. It's great to be with you. Well, let's talk and get right into it. The Senate left for the holiday uh, rejecting an extension of the Patriot Act. Uh, do you think it should be renewed? Absolutely not. Section 215 of the Patriot Act has protections for the Americans' privacy. Those protections have not been followed by the federal government, and uh, we need to put a stop to this bulk collection. All right, and uh, you know, have government agencies, do you think they've gone too far? They have gone too far. The, the law says that they have to meet certain standards before they collect our business records, and it's been phone records that have been particularly uh, in the limelight. And instead, they have collected in bulk secretly, and of course, this was disclosed due to uh, some of the leaks that occurred uh, some year, you know, a year or two ago. Right. And uh, since then, we've been trying to have this debate uh, because it's very important in a democracy that when you write the law and you have very clear standards for, for what the government does, that it follow those standards, for the government has definitely gone too far. So with it expiring at the end of the month, um, what is kind of the next step going forward? Yeah, so we are going back into session on Sunday. Uh, there is a proposal for the USA Freedom Act. The USA Freedom Act follows the law as it was intended. That is, the government cannot grab our business records in bulk if they have a concern. They can go through a process and reach out to those who have the records, for example, the phone companies, and they can establish, meet the standard of the law, which is that the records are shown to be relevant to an authorized investigation, and then the, they, they gain legal access, very much like the Fourth Amendment envisions. So uh, we had uh, more than half the Senate supporting the USA Freedom Act, but we were filibustered uh, here just a few days ago. So. I'm, I'm looking forward to returning and hopefully we can get that act passed. Yeah, so going forward, you know, what are the top three priorities for you, you know, going back into the Senate? Well, certainly the, the issue of living wage jobs. And in that context, we're having a major debate over a trade act. Uh, we are, there's a, there's a right now legislation that will be going through the House. It's gone through the Senate that, that creates the framework in which a, a trade act would be debated by the Senate. Uh, but then that, that Trade Act itself, the Trans-Pacific Partnership, will be back in a few months. And uh, how you view this uh, has a, and, and how we act upon it is going to have a tremendous impact on living wage jobs. Yeah, it's been very controversial. We've been talking about it yes, for quite some time. Yes, very, very controversial. And we have a minimum wage in this country, and we have economic standards and labor standards. And when we create a trade organization that goes beyond our similar similar economies to a very low wage, low enforcement economy, then it essentially creates an attraction for companies to move their operations to the very lowest wage location. We've been through this before. I have, I have deep concerns about it. All right. Well, uh, you know, today you visited a local school as part of the big idea. You know, what have you done and what do you plan to do uh, to help emphasize the importance of higher education? Yes. Yeah, so this big idea is to track very carefully and work with children so every child from fifth grade forward graduates from high school and part of that is painting a vision for their ability to attend higher education. Now, it may be career education, it may be college, uh, but certainly it means that there is a track to fulfill your opportunities and contribute back fully. And this is very near and dear to my heart because I was the first in my family to go to college and it was uh, my parents who painted that vision for me. So under, under this big idea, the, the kids are getting exposure to the possibilities and, there, and the fact that there are affordable tracks to pursue college, but it is our job as legislators to make sure that those tracks exist. And we've had huge inflation, really runaway inflation in college tuition, so that has become a gauntlet. In response to that, we need to have a lot more uh, Pell Grants. Those grants need to increase according to as tuition increases. We need to have loans that are at a much lower interest rate. Uh, for example, the big banks can borrow from the federal government at a very low interest rate. Let's give our children the same ability to borrow at those low rates that the big banks get. That's an investment in our future. All right. Um, and final question for you. Yesterday was Memorial Day. You know, is, do you have any message you want to say to maybe some of the Southern Oregon veterans um, who are watching tonight? Yes, this was a beautiful, beautiful day at Central Point and at Eagle Point, and a, a real... Uh, well, it's, a, it's both a, a very somber day to remember those who paid the ultimate price in service to our country, but it's also a day of celebration that we've, as a country, have defended um, both the national security of our country and the values that we hold near and dear. And so the appreciation for those who have, have served. Uh, and uh, this is, it, it was um, 
it was just a chance to express that and to recognize that just as we are celebrating the sacrifice others made, they have stood up for us and now we need to stand up for them. When the, our veterans are, are home, we need to make sure that they get all of the benefits that they so richly earned. All right. All right well, Senator, thank you so much You're for joining us welcome. today. I really appreciate it. Good to be with you. Stay with us. We'll be right back.